back to our lockdown rooms. This one is a little bit more related to match scenarios. So what we're trying to do is the simple stuff which we are putting out for you all to practice. Here, just putting some challenges. So what I've done is just taking a very small area here. Stump, just where Derek is standing to feed the balls, tennis balls, and some blocks. Now these could be stumps, these could be cones, these could be anything. Just some blocks, like an extra cover, mid off, mid on, mid wicket. Please notice that everything is really very close and tight because I'm wary that we have space constraints. So we don't have a big area to play. In the video which will follow after this, you will see that I have used a normal bat, I've used a slim bat, and just literally Feedy has there have been full tosses which have been fed to me and just trying to find gaps. One thing to understand is sometimes with young batters, when they want to start thinking of finding a gap, they ignore watching the ball till the last second. So they're looking at where they want to hit the ball rather than actually watching that ball all the way to come to the bat. So just keep working on watching the ball closely. And then if you hit the block, then you should start thinking where you connected it and then start to tinker with your connection points. Maybe you can meet the ball a little bit early, maybe a little bit late and then you find the gaps. So those are the sort of little things which you need to practice. Every time you find a gap, give yourself a run. Don't give yourself a boundary because that's making it easy, but give yourself a run. And then if you face six balls, and if, and if you scored six, that's a hundred strike rate. So look to find gaps. Another exciting bit, like a math scenario for you guys to practice. Fun, but it's gonna help your batting big time. Keep watching, keep enjoying.